Gibbons, known as Unka. Study shows that the population of gibbons and figs is closely related both within and outside Borneo. The higher the density of figs, the higher the density of gibbons. Gibbons are acrobatic mammals, endemic to the dense forests of Southern Asia. Zoologists recognize four different gibbon species in Borneo, but their range only rarely overlap, and when they do, hybrids occur. There are no difference in ecology between the different species. Gibbon facts. Are gibbons monkeys? No, gibbons are apes. More specifically, they are classified as small apes because, you guess it, they are smaller than the great apes, gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and humans. How many gibbon species are there? There are more than a dozen recognized species of gibbons, divided into four genera, hulok, hylobates, simpelangus, also known as siamangs, and namaskus. Siamangs are the largest gibbon species, with adults typically weighing between 23 and 30 pounds. Where do gibbons live in the wild? Gibbons are found in the rainforests of Southern Asia, where they spend most of their time in trees. When gibbons do visit the ground, they tend to walk on two feet and may even hoist their long arms over their head for balance. Are gibbons endangered? Yes, most gibbons are classified as endangered or critically endangered. Habitat loss poses one of the most serious threats to their survival. Especially as trees are harvested for timber or cleared for farming, particularly palm oil. Poaching and the illegal pet trade also contribute to their decline. Gibbons are very small and lightweight. They have a small round head, long arms, and a short slender body. Gibbons have lightweight bones. Like all apes, they have no tail. Gibbons are covered with light color red to very dark brown, hidden hair on most of their body. Some species of gibbons have a white face ring, a band of white face completely surrounding their face. Gibbons have scents very similar to ours, including hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch. Gibbons have a hairless face with dark eyes, small nostrils, and jet black skins. Gibbons' hands are very much like ours. They have four long fingers plus a smaller opposable thumb. Their feet have five toes, including an opposable big toes. Gibbons can grab and carry things with both their hands and their feet. Threats to the gibbons Several gibbon species are threatened by imminent extinction in the very near future. Gibbons not only include the most endangered apps but also the most endangered primate species of the world. The main reasons for these are habitat loss and degradation, hunting and also illegal trade. Preservation of the tropical forest is imperative to gibbon survival. If it disappears, so do the gibbons. In China, for instance, the gibbons have already lost 99% of their habitat. In addition, they are hunted for food and for use in local medicine. Also, the illegal pet trade is thriving across the whole Southeast Asia. Young gibbons are popular pets, but in order to obtain a young animal, its mother must be shut down from the treetops. Often, both mother and infant are killed in this process. In Malaysia, there is Gibbon Protection Society Malaysia, or known as GPSM which is the Malaysian NGO that is the only one in Peninsula Malaysia, where it dedicated to rescuing and rehabilitating gibbons who were victims of the illegal pet trade. Through personalized training, GPSM helps each individual gibbon overcome their trauma, relearn their natural behavior, and prepare them for life in the wild. GPSM also carries out outreach programs to educate the public about the threat gibbon face in Malaysia due to human activity. What we can do to help save gibbon by do not purchase gibbons or products derived from gibbons. Many animals are purchased each year to be used for the pet trade or to make exotic merchandise. For many species, humans are the worst predator. Do not take photographs with illegal baby gibbons. 
The baby demon doesn't always survive the fall from the canopy once the mother is killed. So in most cases, many demons are killed to obtain just one baby. If these actions continue to be financially supported by tourists, gibbons will one day be extinct. Finally, is by supporting the conservation of the rainforest. The main cause of most species' endangered status is deforestation. We should avoid purchasing products which are obtained from the rainforest through habitat destruction. In short, be a responsible tourist by help to end this illegal gibbon business. <coughs> 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 <coughs>